Crimisa, Crimisa or Crimisa was a small ancient city in Magna Graecia, probably originating in the 7th century BC, situated in Calabria in the region of Punto Alis. It was inhabited by an indigenous people assimilated by the Greeks. <inaudible> Origin and myth According to various mythographical accounts, not always uniform and coherent, of Strabo, Pseudo Apollodorus, Lycophron, and Pseudo Aristotle, the Greek hero Philoctetes reached these places on his way back from the Trojan War, together with the Rhodians under Tolpolemus. He colonized the promontory of Crimisa and founded a city of the same name. Topographically, Crimisa was located in a lower area as compared to Chone, city of the Choni, now Chiro. Philoctetes was believed to have also founded Patelia and Makala. He also had a sanctuary dedicated to Apollo Eleus, where he laid his bow and arrows received as a gift from Heracles. Then, rushing to the aid of his Rhodian allies, he died fighting against barbaric natives. On his tomb erected near the river Sybaris was subsequently built a temple where he was honored with sacrifices. Historical data. The site dates, from archaeological data collected, to the 7th century BCE. During the Classical period the city was thoroughly Hellenized and remained that way until the Roman era. <laughs> <laughs> Historical area Even though the identification remains uncertain, scholars are inclined to believe that the city stood in Punta Alice, near the present Chiro Marina. Archaeological data The famous Italian archaeologist Paolo Orsi worked in the area where the ancient Crimisa is presumed to have been located, and made several discoveries during excavations carried out between 1924 and 1929. Although scarce, the remains and findings are unequivocally identifiable as those of the sanctuary dedicated to Apollo Eleus. Of the building of the temple Doric order are documented, the first, archaic phase, of which evidence is quite scarce, dating back to the 6th century BCE. The second phase, represented most notably by items of architectural terracotta, dated from mid-5th century BCE to 4th century BCE. <laughs> Archaeological findings In the Museo Civico Archaeologico of Ciro Marina, located in an 18th century building of Palazzo Porti and in Castello Sabatini, are exhibited several artifacts found in the area of the sanctuary of Apollo Eleus, a capital, several architectural items, a terracotta mask, a pedestal, fragments of a bronze statue, fragments of a wig made of bronze, bronze coins, figurines. In the Museo Archaeologico Nazionale of Crotone there is a section housing the findings from the sanctuary of Apollo Eleus at Chiro Punto Alis, some Doric capitals of the temple, an antifix with a disc portraying a gorgon from the Acroterium, votive tablets, a matrix of an antifix, and fragments of an archaic statuette of a young man in limestone. There is no lack of captions illustrating the site and photos of the famous acrolith. In the Museo Nazionale della Magna Gracia, more precious items are stored, including an artful head, hands and feet of a marble statue of Apollo. The statue in question apparently was an acrolith i.e. a statue of which only the head and limbs are made of marble, while the body was made of wood or simply a scaffold then covered at all points. The head, which shows the influence of Phidias, is made of white marble and has holes around the forehead that originally supported a wig made of bronze or a metal crown. It is dated to 440 BC. Topic: <inaudible> Sources. Paolo Orsi, Templum Apollini Zelai ad Crimisa Promontorium, Roma, 1933. Antonino Terminelli, Crimisa, Chiro Marina, 1971. Mario Napoli, Civiltà della Magna Gracia, Roma, 1978. Emanuele Greco, Magna Gracia, Bari, 1980